Hey everybody, welcome to the FEE Free Showcase for Fire Emblem Stargazer. Whoop. My name is Zillarite, and I'll be showcasing the game today. Here with me is the developer of the game, Waspix. Say hello. Hello everybody. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be playing uh, Chapter 4 here. In the interest of time, we're going to skip past the intro event here, but I'm going to let uh, Waspix tell you a little bit about the plot of this game and the story uh, because he's been working on that for quite some time now so oh yes away, i Moss. have uh it's been a minute since i've been around here recently i've been busy <laughs> but let's get into this all right so where we are right now our lord has found himself stationed against some enemies at this bridge site um in the story um a set of rebels have taken it upon themselves to throw uh their rebellion amidst an important ceremony between two nations. Right now, our Lord Orion and his siblings Clara and Grant are currently marching their way back home to rescue their parents and their nation in Act 1. Right, and this is, we have found the first of our parents. Parent we number found one. Mom. We found Mom. We gotta go save Mom. Uh, and that's the main sort of goal of this chapter mm -hmm. here. We've also got some smaller things going on, like the plot arc that we've got with Marlin, and a character who's about to join us once I start the chapter. Yes, Marlin is a rebel that defects from the rebels to join our side. But we gotta get to him first. We also have uh, one of the fun little things about this game's opening arc is all of the various villain characters that you meet early on, Marlin included, even if he's not quite a villain. Um, were the cast of a prologue chapter uh so you controlled them as they did sort of the opening gambit of this sort of rebellion and mm. uh now controlling the lords you have to put an end to their rebellion so all of these are familiar characters caster all right i've uh i've got preps basically where i want them to be i think we're just gonna start here mm -hmm. And we can uh, talk about the gameplay uh, as we go. Right, this unit. Uh, one of the characters that is added on this chapter is our uh, Armor Knight Healer Dancer. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> he's, I like uh, things a little weird. He's awesome. No, I love him. And this is our... Uh, Again, we're just going to skip the dialogue here. Actually, I forgot I was supposed to do that. <laughs> We've got uh, Theodora here, who's another defector. Um, who's going to help us sort of uh, get to Marlin. And then we have to save Esmir here, as well as Hazel. Got to get this chest, and we got to defeat Caster. So yep. Lots of things going on here. Um, if you'll notice immediately... Our party is in two sections, and that is a lot of what this map revolves around. And if you if you've been around FEU, you might know the infamous bridge crossing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Alistair. had the idea first. Whoa! This is Did rare. Killing? Alistair, Alistair isn't really one to double. Oh, absolutely not. But he does hit hard when he does hit. It's just that his speed is not the greatest. <laughs> All right. What do we got going on up top? Just trying to remember the uh, the way I generally approach this chapter. Uh, Alistair has this tome here. It's a very, very powerful support tome. So we're just going to uh, set that up to support our chip here. That kind of brings me on to something new. Like, Alistair has um, his special tome, but most characters either have special equipment or have unique equipment. And, like, the, the difference there is um, they might not be perfs in every instance, but generally each unit is going to have a weapon that will be useful for them. The homing axe. The I bad the boy itself. Don't ask about the logistics. Just know it hits well. It homes in. I think I, uh, I think I had something like that back when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bottom side here is making their way up. 
Um, the main sort of... Uh, there's a lot of interesting tech in this chapter, we'll call it. Uh, our main goal on this bottom side is we're going to cross underneath this bridge and emerge on the other side to fight on this side of the map. Meanwhile, they haven't spawned yet, but we have fleets that are going to come down here. And uh, when they hit the shore, they're going to drop enemies off. So we'll have a sort of visual timer for how long we have until reinforcements mm -hmm. arrive. So using that, we can sort of uh, plan things. One of the things I attempted to do here was give some interesting gimmicks to each chapter. And be that... Take interesting gimmick as you will. Generally, it's just a, a, a central theme to a chapter that makes it stand out. Like here, it's the bridge. Another chapter, I use green units essentially as temporary torches. Stuff like that, just to make the chapters have more of a more of a defined feel to them. Alright. Rosaline's a cool unit too. This is one of my favorites, actually. I'll uh, show off what makes her special here. She's got... Uh... <laughs> She's got Acrobat and 7 move. She's your... Uh... She's almost like a half of a flyer. She has mm -hmm. like all the mobility in terms of like difficult terrain, but she still can't like fly over barriers and stuff. It's uh it's interesting. You do get some flyers later, but I felt like a unit that's kinda like halfway there has its own purpose, especially right now. And even if her speed suffers long term, she's still gonna be a fun unit to use, especially in the beginning. <clears throat> Apologies about that. Um Alright, we've got most of these guys handled here. This one might take a little bit of extra work. Ooh. But we do have the Alnalum. We do have the Alnalum. Some nice accurate chip damage here from afar. So we can set up a good kill for our axe unit. Some may call it the Yeet Cannon. I'm not opposed to that. Boom. All right, we've killed all of our turn one frets here. Um, just want to decide, do I want to move Orion up? Yeah, I think I'm going to move Orion up. Yes, we can invigorate. While we're moving our boy around, I will mention that uh, the music in this chapter, both the battle music and the chapter music itself, I did compose. And that's another thing I wanted to do, is have some unique music throughout the game. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Alright, we'll throw on our Iron Lance. Alright, there's you as well. We'll just do nothing with you. Sounds entertaining. Man. Good job, Hazel. Alright, now that that turn is over, uh, once we finish uh, this turn, we're going to be turning animations off. Uh, once we've had, like, a chance to sort of show them all off and the like. Um, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be moving at a little bit more of a clip. Orion has taken a little bit of a beating here, but luckily... We game over, man. We luckily game he's over. fast. He's a quick boy. He does his cardio. And, uh... Clara should be more or less able to take care of everything over there because the uh, Clara on the save file is very strong, if I remember correctly. <laughs> She's strong in most every... most every save file. <laughs> Look out, traitor! No! Leave him alone! <laughs> Our boss is repositioned, and we've had people from this side of the bridge come over to face us on this side. So... Insane, right? I do know how to invent. How do they do this? Pretty awesome. How do they move? I prefer my enemies without agency. 
Alright, who do we got uh, to help take care of this problem up north? Can Alistair reach? One, two, three, four, five? Yes. Perfect. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn off animations. Right. Right, right, right. That was something we were going to do. That happens. Alright. We'll take care of the last of these guys. Wonder, do you have anything accurate enough to just... Eh, not really. We'll just kill with you then. It's fine. Just means we're going to have less people on the other side of the bridge this turn. I want to give the player a lot of agency in how they approach crossing the bridge from the bottom. Um, and I feel like that's accomplished with being able to choose which units you keep in safety and which units you take across. So I'm excited to see some of the experimentation people do with that. It's a it's a fun chapter. This is one of my uh, one of the more memorable in the game uh, Let's go. from the earlier. Arc. This one and the one immediately before it are both fun because the previous one is that. Uh, aforementioned one where you've got um, sort of units in the fog uh, mm -hmm. that can allow you to see that you might not have otherwise been able to see with. Uh, do we want to do it this way? If I recruit you... What I'm excited about is someone has told me each chapter is their favorite, so that's that's exciting. <laughs> There's a lot of highlights. Yeah, Maybe Theodore can talk to Marlon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He's always going to be on top, so I made sure he could. Because it would just be kind of weird. And he could kill the armor knight. It's doubly convenient. But then Mar Marlin would attack. I talk first. Of course. All right. <laughs> so Theodore is, uh... Theodore is sort of in it for the money here. Marlin's more of a... An honorable folk. I mean, what are you gonna do? Theodore is basically a college student. He's gotta pay the bills, man. <laughs> gotta pay his student loans. <laughs> oh, it doesn't quite kill. Might still be safe move, though. Uh, because these guys don't move. It's definitely risky just throwing stuff out into there, especially before you get people to the other side. Yeah, it's basically a question of does he take 10 damage from these guys, and the answer is absolutely he does. Is that a Sword Reaver no. even? No, it's a Halberd. Got a little effective weaponry, right? In fact, he actually takes exactly 10 damage from this guy. So, not quite the play. Weapon. Instead, we're just going to do it this way. Had to make sure you couldn't fall off this strat. Mm -mm. Alright, and that will, uh bait out a little bit of damage for us. Alright. One of the things we want to try to do next on this side of the map is get Grant over to Mom so that we can recruit her and have use of her powerful magic stat. Uh, she'll help us make some quicker headway through the map. Uh... Some powerful stabs we've gotten, we cannot use until we get hurt. <laughs> He's gonna throw down the vulnerable use. It's like very minor, but mm -hmm. uh, saves me an extra move on my dancer. <laughs> it's okay, I planned for this. Dancing with the devil there, bud. I knew, I knew we had the HP to handle it. It's just scary to look at. <laughs> Okay. The brick side is handled. Uh, as always, it's the bottom side that's actually scary. Generally, it, it flip flops between which area is going to be stressful for each turn, I think. At least that's how I felt my personal experience. Look at that perfect damage. Dang! Dang! Dorky. Alright. This is looking encouraging. It's 
especially when we've still got like what three units on the other side of the bridge who aren't even helping. <laughs> Slackers. Uh, I think it's safe for you to just like stand here with the axe out. You can just chill. You're very tanky. I don't mind if the sword guy attacks you. Maybe even equip the flare lance. Your damage does go down. The rest isn't actually that much lower. Let's just stick with the... Uh... It'll be more impactful as you progress, I think. Would also be better right now... against armor units. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, there's not really enough difference between a good defense and a good red stat for it to actually be worth anything, I think. Um... Once you do get into more places where you can use the Flare Lance, like the chapters from now, then then it's worth it. See everybody, don't you want to see where you can use the Flare Lance? I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat and I made it. You're just going to have to download the patch to find out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Alright. The short bow uh, shouldn't be necessary here. We've got other people. To uh, finish so, off the job, we're drawing attention to the short bow. We gotta talk about it. We gotta Once talk we about the short, short bow. bow. We gotta talk about the short bow. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, Wasp, how does it feel to be a sinner? <laughs> uh, oh, I was gonna so, say, let's bait this guy out with. Uh, I can't. He's got a halberd. Whoa. And he doesn't have a nice matchup against these guys, I don't think. He kind of killed all the lands, guys. It is worth mentioning that um, you have a bow armor and a short bow. I do. <laughs> Unfortunately, the short bow is on the other side of the map. And also, you don't have enough weapon, right? But just, just know that's an option. If you start stacking bad ideas, they become good. That's a lot of life. <laughs> Eventually, you'll reach critical mass. <laughs> Alright. I honestly so have cool. no idea how the AI is going to treat this turn. I think they're going to attack the green unit. They might attack my mage. It's, uh, it's kind of dubious. We'll find out. Yep. I was Alistair right. Alistair gets to live another day. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> what? No, traitor! <laughs> you fool! No. Why did you do it? We could have saved you. Oh man. God, Alistair, you're so strong. I guess that's what happens when you less. when you hit your 35 speed growth a lot, huh? Mhm. Mm uh, let's Only was on an armor knight. What is Absorber Lance? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You you're dead. Embarrassing. Everyone at home, that weapon does not have adept. I just like that word. Let's kill this. Eh. Let's kill it politely. See. Yeah. Is that really a polite kill? I feel like the homing axe is pretty BM. I don't know about that. I think it's fine. Some people might be whiners about it, though. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'd complain too much. I'm dying either way. At least this way, I'm going out with some degree of style. <laughs> no, I want to. I want to pick you up. Is what I want to do. Mom. I was wondering where you were. Alright. We've got mom. We've got her for a few chapters. She'll be back. Right, but she does leave the party. She's gonna be a little bit. She leaves, her. she comes back, she comes back again. She's she's off a of Raku, dude. Off the chain. You know, because she's max level, we should have given her like a hundred growths and everything. So people would be like, whoa, so cool. It wouldn't change anything. <laughs> <laughs> it would I be genius, though. That. Funny. 
Uh, God, I love Rosaline. Yes. <laughs> Kill the cavalry effective weapons. I don't want to look at them. I've got better things to do with my time. I know someone's going to get a hold of this ROM and give her Canto Plus and like... I'm just glad I'm not the one to do it. <laughs> Alright. Can she double these guys too? No. Mm. Tragic. A little bit embarrassing, not gonna lie. But that's okay. Uh, unfortunately, I have to tank a hit on Marlin here. Um, it's not gonna cause any huge problems, but I would have liked, liked to do that in the other order to just save us the hit. Mm -hmm. Now that we've got our door key, we can... Uh, we can open up the door here and let Grant come grab the chest. Grant is all kinds of running around. That's what happens when you're the younger brother. Oh. I didn't uh, do anything wrong there, right? There's no scary enemy to the self that I'm forgetting about. Ooh, strength and defense. Oh no! There's more boats! We're just waiting on the boat boys. Right, this one's about to drop off its guys. Hi, Clara. <laughs> She'll catch up. Maybe. She's doing her best. <clears throat> There's a reason she's a monk and not a troubadour. Bah. See? She'll catch up. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we can only open this door from this side. So Esmir is going to have to wait a little bit. We are, however, going to get her into position to do that. We also need to find a way to kill that thief very soon. Ow! I don't appreciate that Orion. at all. Orion! Orion! Alright, one more turn on those guys showing up. Uh, I haven't been using this weapon. Uh, it's just, like, basically a killer weapon. Um, Pretty sick though, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's very strong. I just don't have much of a reason to use it right now. <laughs> I need uh, I need reliable damage. Oh, you love to see strength. You're getting some blessed levels right now. When I play this game, I I can go. <laughs> I I've gotten Clara two blank level ups in a row. Whoa, hold on. Zanbato. Okay, good. It doesn't reach. Would you be having anti-force weaponry? Okay, we're... <laughs> alright. <laughs> uh, that's how you want to handle this situation. Um, yeah, it looks like this guy's actually going to end up opening the chest for us, and then we're going to kill him. It's a little bit scary. Oh, we, do we do still need to get Grant over here to steal from the Armor Knight, though. Oh no, it drops now! Oh, it didn't used to. I, I distinctly remember. I changed it specifically because it was really annoying. <laughs> oh man. Now it's extra exciting and awesome. Uh, just a double check. Yeah, you don't die if this guy hits you. So just uh, wipe that guy out. Uh, we're gonna have... Probably we're going to have Theodore open up the uh, door right here. Hit it! Theodore! And we're going to have you move up and heal and get ready to uh, help kill Zanbato, man. But we've got friends now. Uh, we're gonna leave a few people on this side to deal with the reinforcements that are coming, just because... I don't know. Just in case it takes long enough. I don't want Traitor and Traitor to die. They're my best friends. That would be just awful. They're both classes you don't get any units in. True. Don't call me a coward, big jerk. 
also the boss? <laughs> this Clara. Whoa. I don't. You, both your Clara and Alistair are like insane. Yeah, Clara's usually nowhere near that strong. What are you talking about, dude? She's always super magic? strong. 14 magic? No, 14 magic is crazy. That's like she hit magic every single level. Sometimes it just goes oh, like Oh, she that. also in he intentionally switched to the javelin. In Why? <laughs> interesting decision on his part. You know, sometimes the AI works in mysterious ways. Dude, maybe Caster deserves to die if he's gonna pull that malarkey. Uh... I never got a chance to use Canis. Grant never ended up taking damage. We've got a fancy Nosferatu sword. No, that's like the whole gimmick of the game. <laughs> when people think about Stargazer, they think about the bridge and this vampire thief. <laughs> Grant's kind of awesome. Really interesting way to make a, a combat thief. Is to just give him like a way to tank damage. Alright. Armor effective bow with weak accuracy. With you know, pathetic so garbage inspired. accuracy. Yeah, 75%. Kill. No, oh, my EXP. Man, just died. EXP thief. Couple of all no kills here. And it looks like we're basically finished. I'm don't know that I'm missing anything. I guess we're missing out on these reinforcements. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, dude, zero, zero. Whoa. But, uh, looks like our our blessed Clara <laughs> managed to, uh, accelerate us through the map by a few turns. man. We don't even have to worry about anti-turtle reinforcements if we can just kill the boss. <laughs> Usually Clara's, uh, or rather Caster takes a few rounds of combat to take down. Mm -hmm. uh, He's a tough guy. He hits hard, too. But, like, we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, we're just gonna basically get to take my pick of who gets to kill. Who would be funniest? Let's give it to Theodore. Oh. Joanne's too far away, so we can't Joanne do is too far away. My favorite unit to feed kills, too. Alright. Just gonna double check one last time. I'm not missing anything, and there's nothing I wanted to show off. We got to see that boat tech in action with the reinforcements being. Oh my god, he's. Oh my god, he's right. Hold on. One moment. Hold on. Wait a he's sec. This is rare even for Joanne. Why are all your units so blessed? Kill! Yes! Here we go. Boat yes. cleaver. You know what? Clara deserves it. I've changed my mind. Destroy. Alright! That guy's dead. Oh my goodness. Extra dead. For good measure. Alright! Are we gonna read the end event here, or is that, uh... Is that all we've got oh, for We'll save that. That'll be the little thing that'll get him in, you know? I can oh, read reading the story. Oh! True. Let's head I to the main the menu then. I spent too much time on it. If you read the story, you'll even see some of my writing in there. I'm, uh, I'm sort yeah. of like a, a guest star. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, so that was Stargazer. Um, yeah, it's a hack. It's got a lot of... Uh, it is. <laughs> oh, I have to remember, I can't let that unit role play. <laughs> uh, this patch still doesn't have that fixed. Uh, it is fixed, but not on this patch. Um, yeah, it's a hack with a lot of uh, a lot of cool units and a lot of really clever map design. Uh, the bridge map it's is kind of obviously a famous one. I love the Fog of War map. It's one of the only Fog of War maps that is just, like, fun. <laughs> Because of the way that it uses the uh, the vision mechanic in an actually interesting way. And gives you sort of ways to get extra information out of the map. It's very clever. Um, yeah. Uh, is there anything you wanted to add here before the end was? Well, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I know most of you have probably seen it in passing a little bit. But the first arc will be done before too long. 
and that'll be the first eight chapters. So I hope you guys are excited for that. And hope to see some feedback. That's what's exciting here. <laughs> All right. Um, with that, I think that's a good enough place to call it. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. And I would like to, uh, both Was and I would like to extend our gratitude to the organizers for letting us uh, put on this show. Um, it's always great to get to show off a friend's work. Um, yeah. I'm very excited about Stargazer. I know several other people are very excited about Stargazer. And I hope after watching this video, you... Dear viewer, you are excited about Stargazer. You if know. you're not, fun fact, we've actually traced your IP. I know where you are. So, might want to change your tune. You know, you don't want to make me too mad. I accept donations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Enjoy the rest of your FAE free Have folks. Have a nice day, everybody. I'll talk to you all in the next FAE free video. I'm only in Good like drink. seven. Oh, <laughs> all right. See you all later.